What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Steven Womack and today I'm super quick because I've already figured out that new Drake black and white grainy look for you guys. He posted a lot of pictures in this look on his Instagram lately and also that Nocta picture went viral. He posted it on his Instagram account as well as the official Nocta Instagram account. So I want to show you how to recreate this look with only your smartphone and the free Lightroom app again today. Of course, I've also created a preset for all of you guys who want to save some time and be quicker on this one it's linked under this video and it's in the all presets pack with over 170 presets for you to easily paste to every one of your pictures to make them look great now if you already have the all presets pack this new drake look is already updated so make sure to check it out if you don't i really recommend getting that all presets pack because every time i create new presets such as this one today they're automatically updated to the pack you just have to buy it once and you get 170 presets and all the future presets are automatically updated so make sure to check that out link is under this video of course subscribe to the channel hit the notifications bell and if there's anything you need from me anything i can help you with questions ideas anything like that always feel free to dm me on instagram at steven womack is my handle now i've said enough let's get right into this tutorial the first thing we want to do of course is open our picture on the smartphone in the free lightroom app now when you're taking the picture make sure that the flash is on and preferably you're taking it at night to get that really nice flashy film look already and then we want to edit it in the lightroom app so we open the app right here and now I've chosen this picture that I found tagged under Nocta. It comes close to the setting at night, flash was on and it looks to me as if it was taken on the mobile phone. So this is perfect. The first thing we do in the lights tab is go to curve on the upper right side and I want you to recreate this curve exactly as it is here. So just pull up the shadows on the bottom left side a lot and then create that curve towards the upper right side to the highlights and it will blow out the shadows to get this look. Then we're done here. Next thing we wanna do is pull down the highlights a little bit to negative 16, boost up the shadows to plus 26, pull down the whites to negative 32, and pull down the blacks as well to negative 26 right here. Then we go over to the colors tab. Here we just wanna pull down the saturation all the way since it's a black and white picture, but we go up to grading and we wanna add a little bit of tints because it's not only just black and white, there's a little color going on. So for the shadows here, we want to pull the hue to 43, that orange area, and then the saturation up to around 14, 15 to get that orange tone to the shadows. The mid-tones, we wanna to pull the hue to 41 and the saturation again around 15 right here to get that orange tone to the mid-tones as well. Then we're done, the color is perfect in my opinion. We hit the effects tab here. What you wanna do is boost up the clarity to plus nine, just a little bit. And then we want to pull down the dehaze to negative 65 to really wash that out right here. And now the final touch, the main touch is the grain. We wanna boost that up all the way to 62 right here and we are done. And this is it guys, here's a before and after and I think we turned this mobile picture into that real film Dre grainy Nocta look that we see on his Instagram account as well as the Nocta Instagram account. And this is just a really easy and quick way for you guys to edit your pictures in a similar way to make them look like that film picture. I think it's amazing, I really love the result. Once again, if you wanna save some time or you're having troubles, following along to the tutorial, feel free to check out my preset that I created for you. It's linked under this video and it's in the all presets pack with over 170 presets for you to easily paste to every one of your pictures to make them look great. And once again, the cool thing about this pack is that every time I create new presets, they're automatically updated. So you just have to get it one time and you'll get a growing presets pack, which is unique. It's a great deal. Make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. Subscribe, hit the notifications bell to not miss out on any of my future videos. Videos. And of course, if there's anything else you need from me, any new ideas for new videos or just questions in general, always feel free to DM me on Instagram at Stephen Womack is my handle. And I'm always really excited to hear from you guys. Now, thank you so much once again for watching this video, for showing me love, support. Leave a thumbs up if you like the video. Give me some feedback in the comments. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay creative, stay healthy. Peace.